I just don't get it. Why do people care so much about issues which really uh, I, I don't think are that important? Maybe the problem is me. Maybe I'm insensitive. I lack empathy. I don't see reality. Maybe I'm living in a delusional world where all this really important stuff is going on, but I just can't see it. So let's go over some of these issues which I just don't think are that important as most people make it out to be. Um, the first one is abortion. Uh, first thing, I don't want to hear any abortion discussion, debate. It's so fucking boring. How do you fucking people out there, not, not necessarily all of you, but those of you out there who engage in discussions and debates about abortion, how do you um, get through it? Because maybe I have some attention deficit um, disorder thing. Maybe I have some type of brain um, disease where I can't focus and I get bored, but I think this abortion stuff is so boring. Um, how do you do it? Uh, and, you know, we can, I can just sum up the abortion thing um, very uh, very easily. It's a continuum fallacy um, issue. So it's like, wherever you want to draw the line, where do you want to say life matters? Um, at conception, at birth, at the first heart rate, you don't know um, when the egg is released from the ovary. Um, you know, where do you want to draw the line? It's totally arbitrary. Um, you can just draw it wherever you want. You know, there's no objective morality there or anything to say when you should draw this line. Objectively speaking, life begins at the moment of conception. That's when you have a human. Do you want to value this human that's only two, four, 16 cells? Is that equivalent to someone who's walking around them? It's your opinion. It's your opinion. It, it, there's nothing objective about it um, in terms of the value, in terms of the morality. Um, but since you have all these different states and it's anyone's opinion when they should say life really matters, uh, you can just argue about it forever. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't care. It's your fucking opinion, and and that's that. I I think that the actual material conditions in which people live in, which um, leads to talking about things like poverty, lack of resources, too much stress and time to raise a child because people have to do bullshit jobs. I think the material conditions that lead to people getting pregnant when they don't want to and people not being able to take care of children after they have them, I think those that's what matters. Um, endlessly debating abortion, I, I, I just don't care. And I, I don't care about your fucking talking points. I, I, I don't care about these liberal bullshit where they claim human life isn't human life. I, I think that's um, garbage and I think people believe it's garbage and I believe they're lying to themselves. I don't care about this conservative bullshit about caring about, um, you know, these fetuses or whatever. I, I don't think that's a genuine argument. I, I don't think any of it's genuine. I think it's just all bullshit. Um, maybe the problem is me. Maybe I should want to engage in this debate. Um, don't, don't write replies about your position on abortion. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't care. Um, just do something else. Um, then the next thing. Um, Gun control. Uh, again, I think what matters is the material conditions in which people live and why those material conditions would um, create um, a world where people would have a need for guns. Okay. Um, a world of poverty where people think they need to defend themselves or a world where we have a government where people feel that they need to defend themselves from the government. Remember, governments in the 20th century killed 70 million or so of their own people, 110 million. Well, it's, it's a lot. It's tens and tens of millions of people were murdered by their own government in the 20th century. So right there you have your um, t argument for guns and why people should have their guns. Uh, but then if you let lots of people have guns, they're going to do stupid things with, each, with it and they're going to shoot each other. People are going to die or be maimed. So you have your argument for guns and your argument against guns. Um, whether or not people own guns, is um, capitalism is just going on, doing its thing. People have to work their stressful bullshit jobs, burning oil, destroying the environment, jobs that 
have no reason to exist with regards to the physical world, um, that's just going to continue. Um, it doesn't matter. You can buy your, have your guns. You can get rid of the guns. Capitalism going on. Um, allowing people to buy guns or not buy guns is not going to move us towards a post-capitalistic um, world. It's not going to really affect that one way or the other. I, I guess if it was like um, 200 years ago, I, I would care more about the gun thing because um, when it's musket against musket, you can form a militia and defend yourself against the government. Um, but if the government wants to declare martial law and send in troops and, and herd people into concentration gam camps, uh, me having an AR-15 probably isn't going to make a difference if they have like robots and, and bombers and, you know, and tanks, you know, it, it's, you know, the, um, there's a weapon difference. It's kind of like, you know, when they made the constitution, the second amendment, they said you're allowed to have arms because they knew people with swords and bows and arrows could not defend themselves against an army with muskets and cannons. But now, you know, we it doesn't matter if people have their guns or not. Or now there there is that big gap. So the, the militia of oh, fuck it. Um, I, I care about changing the material conditions in which people live, not whether or not you have a gun. And I think it would be rather hard for someone to tell me how either people having abortions or people having guns is going to fundamentally change the material conditions in which people live and in which people reproduce the world. So and this, this is a bullshit. See, if you, if you want a resource-based economy, if you're a socialist, if you're an anarchist, if you're anything that advocates for a post-capitalistic world, these are bullshit um, issues, and so shut the fuck up about them. Or maybe you're not bothered with them, but tell your friends to, because I don't want to hear this anymore. Um, and it's boring. The, the gun control debate is, is boring because um, I, I just laid it all out already. Uh, um, that, that's, that's about it. Um, there are reasons for and against, and you can just argue about it until the end of time because there are legitimate reasons for and against. So it's called a dilemma. A fucking dilemma. Okay, why don't people get that? And, but it's like, you have people like is who believe there's only one reason, uh, there's only one side, and there's no reason for anyone to have a gun. And then you have people who believe there's only reasons for people to have a gun, and there's no reason to not have a gun. Well, it's a dilemma. But um, people like to be myopic in, in, turn, in the things that they care about. Uh, other things I don't give a, a fuck about. Uh, homosexuality, gay people. It, it's that's not political. It, it's just stupid. I, I, I understand if you are gay, there's certain reasons why certain laws may um, discriminate you with in comparison to the, how the laws are with regards to straight people, such as benefits with marriage and, and so forth. Um, but what shouldn't what really matters if you are someone who advocates or RBE or a socialist type or an anarchist type or so just anyone who realizes capitalism is fucking stupid. Um, sort of what matters is changing the material conditions so those laws are ir irrelevant. Uh, isn't that what really, really matters? And even if you don't want to totally get rid of capitalism, isn't changing the economic um, realm that people exist in, isn't that really what matters? Because I, I don't care who you want to have sex with. I don't care if you want to have sex with someone of the same gender. Or, or your dog, as long as your dog wants to consent to it. Because you see these stupid things on Facebook about uh, people uh, about um, bestiality and, and, and someone has sex with their dog or their dog for an oral sex. Like, the dog wants to do it. I don't care. I don't care about transsexual people in the bathroom. Uh, um, you know, is the world running out of oil? Um, shouldn't that matter? Um, what about um, all the plastics in the ocean? Shouldn't that matter? What about um, the like HPV vaccine killing and maiming how many people? Shouldn't that matter? And you know, also when it goes back to this the gun thing, if you just if you look at structural violence and all, all the the poor health created by capitalism, it, it far outweighs how many people are being killed by crazy mass murderers. And um, when it comes to, you look at something like vaccines, you know how many people are killed and maimed by vaccines that aren't reported? You look at how many people are killed by the HPV vaccine. 
maybe it's more people being killed by that than these crazy mass murders. So, uh, vaccines are, are a much more important topic than gun control. Anyway, let me, because like everyone's going to be kind of is in, basically injured by them. Uh, other thing I, I don't care about is your religion. I, I, I don't care. Oh, you care about the Pope? I don't give a fuck about the Pope. Good for you. Well, why do I have to be bothered with this stuff? But what I also don't care about is you people out there who care about other people's religion. Why do you care? Someone cares about the Pope and you don't. So what What the fuck do you care? Are they bothering you? And, and then you come up with all of these, these stupid things like the religious people getting in the way of stem cell research or who knows, knows whatever. We live in a very very stupid world with lots of very stupid people out there what's what's holding i think society back is stupidity not the, the religion and if you actually had a more macroscopic view of the world i, I think you understand that what people believe in their value systems are going to be formed by the material conditions in which they live so if you have people live in a world in which there's a reason to believe in religion and care about all this stuff, then you're going to get religion. But of course, all these whatever bullshit new atheists or whatever garbage they want to call themselves, they don't actually care about that. A lot of them just seem to care about the system perpetuating itself. Just to get rid of religion and replace it with their own religion uh, of vaccines and of and of peer review journals and bowing down to Richard Dawkins or whatever they, they want. I, I don't give a fuck. Just shut the fuck up about religion. Uh, I, I don't care. I just, I, I don't want to be bothered with it. I, I don't want to see posts everywhere. I don't want to hear people talking about it. I, I don't want it on the news. I, I just don't care about the, these stupid debates like um, evolution debates. That, that, that's not important. That, that's stupid. Who gives a fuck? So if someone doesn't want to believe in evolution, or someone thinks the world is flat, good for them. Who cares? I guess there's some realm for debate or discussion, and matters on some level, but it's not like the major issue. Isn't the major issue um, our socioeconomic system and the state of the environment in which we live in? Oh, no, oh do you, you want to talk about evolution, and you want to debate that? Why don't you question your own theories about evolution? Because maybe there are problems with Darwin. But, oh, you don't give a fuck about that. You just want to attack religious people. And let's just debate this forever. Because you can just debate it forever. One person has their, their Bible. Another person has their Bible. It just has Darwin's name on it. And you're just going to argue you know, forever. Um, who gets the point? I, I don't know. Well, why do people care about these um, stupid things already? I, it's not all stupid, I guess. It, it's just stupid in that these aren't major issues, and, and I, I'm sick of it. I, and I, I think that the news and the TV tells us these things are important because um, there's no real reason to get people caring about things that are important. What about terrorism? I don't think terrorism matters. I think the United States murdering people around the world to enforce its economic um, supremacy, I think that's what matters. I don't think terrorism is this major thing, at least not in the United States. I don't believe people in the United States are scared of terrorists. I think that's fucking bullshit. Someone has to be like some mind-controlled drone from the TV just looking at this thing, terrorism, terrorism, to think that they're going to be injured, you know, by, by a terrorist. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. You might get hit by lightning. You just look online. How, I'm not going to bother, but come on, how many people are really murdered by terrorists in the United States? That's not a major issue. This is bullshit. This is a bullshit excuse to do other things. Just like all these things are bullshit excuses to distract your mind from what really matters. And I, I'm sick of all these so-called liberals who are jumping all over these issues. Well, you're a fake liberal. You don't want to change the material conditions in which people live. You don't give a fuck. You know nothing about the history of the quote, so-called left, from anarchism to socialism to mass labor movements to how people were killed and died for things like minimum wage or 
and how working days, you don't know any of that. You don't give a flying fuck about any of this. All you care about is having transsexuals go to some bathroom, you piece of garbage, fake liberal piece of shit who's there to vote for the Democrats or who knows what else. Just die and go to hell or something, stupid assholes. I don't want to hear about it. Just shut up. Hey, can't, can't there just be like some magical, like, shut up device? Like, can't you just hit it. And every stupid person just is forced to just shut the fuck up. Uh, so everyone has this, this fucking big mouth. And I, maybe that's the thing about being an INFP is generally out when I talk to people or I don't try to intrude on them. But it's like there's all this like verbal diarrhea that comes out, out of people's mouths and the TV and the media. It's just like, shut the fuck up. I don't know what this video is about. Just, don't, don't you just love it if people just shut the fuck up with, with all this garbage? Uh, I'm going to add one, uh, one more thing to this. I don't care about your fucking sports team. There are people, their entire reality is about th th these, these stupid teams. Like, who gives a fuck? Do you think that the Yankees or, or the Mets or whoever you watch is your team? You think they, you think they care about you? It's like there's this um, movie, was it a Bronx Tale or whatever, when the guy's talking to the kid and he, the kid somebody says he likes the Yankees and he's like, what do you care about the Yankees? Is Mickey Mantle care about you? If your father loses his job, is Mickey Mantle going to help you out? I mean, do the Yankees or Mets or whatever, do they care about you? If, if you lose your job, if you can't um, afford to live where you're living, if you don't have food on the table, are the New York Yankees going to come and help you out? If you have to do something, are they going to go to your place or wherever, wherever you're doing stuff and, and cheer for you and root you on? This isn't even a real thing. They're just some guys playing some game on a field. It's so stupid. Don't people see that? And for years, I would watch the Yankees and the Giants, and I put so much energy into it. And then once the Yankees started winning those um, World Series, Especially like the 2001, I didn't care because the 98, I was like, I cared, but then 2000, they did it again and instead of being happy. Like, I don't give a fuck. My life is the same. My life is shit before, shit after. Who cares? What was I rooting for? And then people call up like WFAN, you know, the sports talk radio, which I listen to so much, and they're like, can't you just enjoy it? What's it to enjoy? Nothing happened to your fucking life. So I don't care about your abortion discussions. I don't care about gun control. I don't care about homosexuality. I don't give a fuck about your religion. And I, I, I by the way, I consider the um, in-your-face atheist, that, that's their own sort of religion. It's not a literal religion because they don't have God, but it, it's their own dogma. I don't care about the sports teams. I, I don't give a fuck. Maybe I'm some apathetic guy who doesn't have empathy with other people, who just can't sense anything important in the world around. Maybe the problem is me. But I don't give a fuck about any of this. And that's what this video is. This is venting. I just want people to shut the fuck up and leave me alone with your fucking crap. Okay, that's it. Bye.